the new 5 Series is an ugly car. Fat at the back and with headlights like Edna Everidge's spectacles. So, to mask the horror, they festooned the M5 with a deep chin spoiler and big exhausts and M5 badges on every panel. There's nothing quiet or dignified about this. It's a very shouty car. Look at me. Look how powerful I am. Arr, arr, I'm a shark. I've got a fin on my back. And things are even worse when you get inside. There's so much technology in here that you can't just get in and go. I mean, first of all, you've got to choose how ferocious you want the gear changes to be. Got a choice of five settings for that. Then there's three settings for the differential and two for the suspension. You can even choose how long you want the headlamps to stay on after you get home at night. And it's not just like 10, 20, 30 seconds, it's infinite. So do I want 33 seconds or, or 34 or 37? I don't know, 42. It's like being in a coffee shop. Do I want the skinny, what water do I want in my espresso? 30, 37. No, 38. It's a good job this is a powerful car because by the time you've finished fiddling with all the computer stuff, you'll have a lot of time to make up. The engine, however, doesn't sound very powerful when you start it. Sounds more like a diesel. It is quick, it's just that with a 5-litre, 400 brake horsepower V10, I was expecting more. So far, then, things are looking bad. The new M5 is too ugly, too flash, too complicated, and not very fast. Then you get to a town, and it gets worse. It doesn't really matter what you do with the gearbox. Manual, automatic, soft changes, hard changes. At this kind of speed, it's slow and dim-witted and jerky, and you roll backwards and forwards on hills. And the ride's rubbish. And then, things get really bad. So you're driving along and the tune you really like comes on the radio, so you think, well, I'll turn this up. There's the volume knob, I'll push it. It's gone. And now I've got a fat bint in a tent warbling. So you have to go into the computer, entertainment, FM or AM. Who listens to the light programme? Who? Apart from the Queen, and the Queen hasn't got an M5! Why are you giving me this choice? When you do finally get the song you were listening to back on the radio again, nice, you get about... Sat-nav woman interrupts, and she, she cannot be turned off. Take the next road. Shut on the up! Left. Turn left 200 yards ahead. I had to pull over to see if I could shut her down. Please make a legal U turn. Vehicle position, journey computer, computer, exit assistant window. That's not it! I've had an idea. Oh, yes. <laughs> Turn the engine off, that'll kill her. I have to say, this M5 is a massive disappointment. I mean, £62,000, you would expect it to arrive ready set up. You know, why should you spend all that money? It's not flat pack furniture, it's not, you're not saving money. It's, it's expensive. BMW are the experts. They should sell a car ready-made. Turn you... right onto B4602, a quarter of a mile ahead. As I was saying, BMW are the experts. They're the ones that should sell us a car ready-made, not one where you have to go home and then spend the rest of time looking through the manual and how do I want this and how do I want that. 
hit the next road on the right. It's almost as though they've made every single button. Turn left half a mile ahead. It's almost Attention. as... Traffic restricted area is ahead. It's almost as though they've made every single button in this car deliberately complicated and deliberately annoying. Except for this one. Push this and everything changes. You get a head-up display showing a rev counter on what gear you're in. The seat bolsters close up in the bench to hold you tight. The gearbox goes to a BMW default setting. So does the diff, so does the suspension. And so does the engine. After you've pushed this button, the engine is no longer producing 400 brake horsepower. It's producing 507. And that makes a difference. In M mode, this car stops being annoying and becomes just magnificent. In M mode, you're taken to a time and a place where there are no jams, no compromises. It's a world of motoring perfection. A place where you can get from 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds. And if you remove the limiter, hit 204 miles an hour. But this is one of the ugliest and most annoying cars in the world. But at the touch of a button, it becomes one of the very best. It becomes an M5.